this. We're going to be fixing his wheel stud and lowering the back end of his car. Um, I'd be lowering the whole car. Austin's got his head stuck under the car. It's nice and tight. Looks like a good fit. Woo! <laughs> look at that wheel. It's clean. Alright, so what we're doing is we'll, he put some coilovers on the car. We're gonna lower the back and replace this wheel stud because it's halfway broken. So to do that, we have to take the the whole brake assembly off to get the hub off. And then you get, once you pull the hub off, you can push the, well, I shouldn't say push. You can beat the old, uh, stud out and put the new one in and then put it all back together so, should be a decently quick hopefully video <laughs> yeah, I'm looking so quick as of now so <laughs> uh, that yellow one's in that hatch
Mallard, but I can't find it. Such a work good. Huh? Such a work just fine. Is <laughs> <laughs> it actually turning? I think so. to the audience don't look like these have been changed since 1996 <laughs> no it does not Yeah, we try. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. It don't even look rusted. Huh? It don't even look rusted. I think else that's what it don't. You. Oh, you're going the wrong way. Huh? You're going the wrong way. Uh -huh. He's tightening it. You dumb. <laughs> <laughs> now you done tighten the living fuck out of me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you can hit it with the sledgehammer. You sure get it tight, dude. <laughs> Gotta cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> That's funny. We we are not mechanics. This is this is <laughs> it already bent like it? Yeah it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I just did it. <laughs> well done. Well, we might not ever get it off now. <laughs> That PB blaster sure does work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, PB blaster sure does his shit. Some good shit right there. <laughs> Yes. Hey, that, uh, that bottom one. Bottom one might be a lot easier. Oh, nice if you put the e brake off. Probably help a little bit. Possibly. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that little thing might come off. <laughs> Learn from our mistakes. That's why we're making videos. 
We're here to help you. Yeah, we're, we're here to make your day easier by making ours worse. <laughs> Sorry, my ass is in the shot. We're using a breaker bar because we mistakenly took these off after the fact. But this seems to work. Ocean might come for us. Huh? Like an ocean might come for us. <laughs> we are very lucky that these even broke free. So thankful for that. You know, I've had a couple cars I had to drill these out of. Going to grill in the day. I was here. <laughs> All right. Nice. Now take that sledgehammer and smack that more. <laughs> I don't know what all this dust is. Just some break dust built up. <clears throat> Hold it, hold it down. No, right here, right here. Bring it in. Yeah, old, old wheel stud for sale. 1500 our best offer. Or trades. <laughs> we'll trade for other Anything. Honda Civics. We know what we have. Nice. What's the new one? I don't know. Oh, right here. <laughs> God bless. Woo! She should have just placed all four. <laughs> Nah, they meant. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> We're close. We're almost there. It's almost in. Holy shit. It's almost in. Maybe like six more strokes and I'll be done. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> but you know he ain't doing them take it all. I was about to break the sledgehammer in half. That is how you seat wheel stud the proper way. <laughs> Don't put those on there. <laughs> I don't even know if they can see it. <laughs> Probably best. <laughs> Probably best. <laughs> Alright. Alright. We're back together. Nice. You know how to? Where did this bird come from? Huh? Where did this bird come from? I'll be out here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad one. Is it? Yeah.
I got the bottom one loose. Not the top one, right? That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one that um, don't come loose. This is something. <laughs> it's good tail already. I noticed. I I think I'm a open prey to trust you holding the speed drive and him with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> I'm glad you're the one holding the screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, figured I'd let you. I want to see if this side will break loose once you get that to break together. This one will break loose. Really? It's just the other one, yeah. Uh, okay. It's just that other side. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, I, shit, I guess we can go here and we can mess with that other one. All right, so yeah, if we can't get the other one, there ain't no point in fucking with this one. So we got a coilover that is seized and it is being a pain. I'll show you what I'm working on on the other side. Um, it's basically, I got the bottom one loose. We're trying to get the top one turned so we can lower the car. It's like seized up and not wanting to move. If you want to beat the living shit out of it while I'm holding the camera right here, I'm going to try to. Yes, I can. Yeah. Where's that slow chain? Okay. First hit. First hit? First hit. First hit. He says first hit, it's going to break loose. Alright, let's see if this gets up. <laughs> I've been hitting the crap out of it, man. See, yeah. that would be tightening, right? Yeah, loosen. Yeah. You got room to swing? Yeah. It might be. <laughs> we can get it to break loose any at all. I think it'll come free because yeah. the threads are good. But the bottom one moves so nice. And that uh, that spanner ring actually goes on it. I just need to get a grip on it to turn it. Shit. Nice. That'd be it. Hey, if it breaks free. It just broke free. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it did turn some, didn't it? Yeah, it turned a little bit. This is the definition of a what we said was going to be a 15 minute job turned into an hour job really fast. <laughs> I already knew that was a lie. <laughs> We're at uh, 48 minutes on the record. <laughs> what did we say at the beginning? A quick and easy video. <laughs> oh. A few moments later. It's definitely turning. It's turning. Get yep. with the spare wrench now. Yep. It's definitely turning. Twelve seconds later. It's actually turning. Yeah, it's turning. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. This is fucking turning. Tomorrow. This is how Clinton goes to the hospital. <laughs> Take your boy down. Take your boy down. Tomorrow for sure. If we get down to these other three, it'll be okay. Yeah, I think we will too. Slowly getting in. Huh? Just want, I just want to make sure the whole bottom is not moving. <laughs> is the bottom moving? I'm chilling. Huh? I'm chilling. 
That was cool. Because I was like, if we're turning the whole bottle, it ain't moved any. Bottom does come a little bit. Yeah. I saw it twisting. I saw it twisting at one point, and I was, I was kind of worried at this point I've done that. You ever wondering if something's twisting? Mark it with a sharpie. You don't have a sharpie? Hope you pray. <laughs> Keep it lubricated. Dry up on you. It's tough to go back and forth. <laughs> Dries up. My rub your all. Let me roll. Had to happen many times. All right. Oh shit! I'm pass out from the plate. <laughs> My turn. Yeah, go ahead. Cut my damn hand. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> We got an injury on set, people. Injury. Oh my god, I didn't think it was that bad. It's pretty rough. It's like they're right on top of the dam. Oh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> look at it. That bullshit, look at it. Dang. <laughs> it's flared. Alright, let's get it. Huh? So we need one sew it up myself. Okay. Sight. Huh? Sight. Sight. I ain't doing that shit. Why oh, not? Yeah, I'll pour some oil on it or something, let it soak up. I got some brake clean, you want to clean it? Yeah, I'd be worried. Go, go grab it over there at the Honda. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, I'm don't, don't talk about it, be about it. <laughs> well, that'd be good for the viewers. You think viewers are like that? Probably. Probably. <laughs> well, look. You always love when people hurt themselves. So. Yeah. I mean, they made a whole jackass video for people fucking hurting themselves. So. Look at this fucking handle, man. I think that was my problem, too. It kept trying to slide on me, but I think if I took it off, you know, I'll just slide even worse with it on me. Eventually. You would think this shit would loosen up after a couple of days. Uh. See how freely the other side spins. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that other side's shot to be fucked up on yeah. the inside. Yeah. <laughs> that is how our cooler should spin, guys. Uh we'll have to edit a lot out of this. Uh give me that I don't know what we're doing wrong. Give me that pipe over there. That pipe big enough to fit on this. You know what? I have an unfortunate feeling I don't think it is, but probably not. But... Oh my god. Oh. Oh, why didn't we think of that earlier? <laughs> <laughs> we could have probably broke it loose with that. Yeah. <laughs> Follow our team. <laughs> Guys, jack handles spit, they fit on spanner wrenches. <laughs> you remember in the first video, I said, uh, I said, I was like, we're not mechanics. And you said, yeah, they're just gonna see a bunch of dumb redneck shit going on. This is the definition of that. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> we're gonna break more shit than fix it. How you learn though? Yeah. We're we're uh we're both car people and we want to be relatable to you guys that have never done this. So you know we we've done certain things here and there. I'll put motors in, but you know, and we'll we'll go through that on the channel too. We're just uh we're learning as we're going and hoping we can teach you guys too. Hopefully you like us enough that you subscribe. But yeah, this 
hopefully this channel hopefully we can do a lot with this channel i've been talking about building a, a go-kart um my brother-in-law is going to be making a little go-kart track behind his house and everybody's supposed to build like uh two roll pretty much the old school roll cage chassis carts with predator motors and we're going to try to me and me and austin here are going to hopefully try to build one and race it there and then you'll see the two integras on the channel a lot we've got some stuff planned for those um, we're going to dye the carpet in mine possibly dye the carpet in this one too uh, we'll probably end up doing the rear brakes on this car <laughs> we never do anything on a real this car do we? Uh, we'll do some more photo shoots rolling shots might tint the windows in a video we got a lot more on the EF hatch. Austin here has an EG hatch that we might eventually get to. Yeah, we'll get to that in the in the videos. It's a is it a GSR swap or LSB Tech? LSB Tech. It's LSB Tech swap. It's got some wiring issues. Uh, we're gonna try to get through that. But yeah, there, there's a lot of lot of stuff coming on this channel. A lot of stuff. We're just gonna keep recording and hoping you like it gonna be doing the stuff anyway might as well <laughs> right, my hands cramping hands cramping yeah, yeah. how low is it uh not very low huh not very low that's oh. low right on it yeah i think so well it's my turn again ah. you can tell i'm older than austin i make noises when i sit down <laughs> <laughs> that is spike. That is not the good kind of tight either, folks. Oh. Yes. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not feeling this. I done fucked my finger up. <laughs> <laughs> something I can stuff down in here and make that Say what? stay. I don't see how you were doing that. <laughs> we're gonna cut this out. Huh? We're gonna cut this out. What? It's far. <laughs> Do it for an hour. Uh. All right, so we're uh, we're gonna turn y'all off for a minute and be right back because this is taking entirely too long. All right, guys. Um, we got the other side about a half an inch down maybe a little more we're gonna get this side to match up with the other side put the wheels on and do a quick test fit take some measurements and see where it's sitting and see if it's level see if it needs to come down some more it's definitely not going back up so we're gonna test fit it to make sure we'd rather have to take them back off and go down some more than have to come up so uh, I'm gonna set y'all up back here while we put the tires on and drop it back down and see where it's sitting. All right, there we go. This car had a bit of a rake to it. Because this back one, the back one was seized on this side, and we weren't even able to put it through that day. The goal of the day is to get it level. There you go, what we're working with now. Alright, so we're probably going to go another half an inch. Um, we're trying to get that. that Front. He's sitting almost fender level at the front. It's closer. It's it does. Closer. It does look better. Looks a lot better. I say we go another half an inch and it be straight. It'd be level. Let's look at those side. Um, you want to measure measure from your jack post to the ground and see what you get on both sides. Oh yeah, this side's almost 
almost identical to the other. Looks good though. That's close. Take another to the front. That was real good. Looking good. Coming along. Coming along. This shit looks so good on camera. Your car looks so good on camera. Fire. Hey, my brother, tape measure out here. <laughs> well, we're still doing things together, away. It's good to know. Well, um, so what we're gonna do now? We'll we'll cut right here and come back again. Um, we're gonna jack the car back up, and I'll bring y'all back once everything's back together and back down on the ground.